Along with Mingalaba, go for Govan Kevin, Facebook, Pishna, YouTube channel, and Chusu Vare, Digan H. Nalo, the Civil Engineering, which I never that we are general interviewed of the map, So, could you please introduce yourself? Hello, everyone. Uh, I am Son Nine Peter Two, and currently I am, I will be second year student in Kami Ongas term. Okay, so he will be second year students to study civil engineering. Okay, first of all, I would like to ask you, why do you choose civil engineering? Uh, well, there are many reasons why I choose civil engineering, but in my motivation, I think civil engineering plays a very special role in creation themes and developing new uh, ideas, including design and infrastructure and uh, construction management as well, so I choose it. And in here, we can also think in another way that uh, engineering is, in the next 10 years, we will need a very uh, well expert and who can play a role, in, especially in our countries as well. That's why I choose civil engineering, so that I can make some changes for my country. Good idea to study civil engineering. Okay, so next question is, what do you have to study like when you specialize civil engineering? So what kind of courses do you have to study? So, yeah, in civil engineering, we have to study many things, but, uh, you know, it depends on your year. So in the first year, we just study the basic uh, professional course. So uh, after that, we also study a GE, general education course, that help us to improve our communication skill, especially when we are in the field. So. Uh, the course include like uh, design and construction management and like uh, water management sector as well and so on. Mm -hmm. So you have to study not only the major courses but also the general education courses. Yeah. Uh, so I forgot one thing, especially uh, we have to study all three parts including chemistry, mm -hmm. uh, basic chemistry they need a, as an engineer and also fix it and electrical as well because all these three things are connected to watch another. Ah, uh, so like everything is connecting each other yeah, like yeah, and that the course. civil engineering major. Yeah. Okay, so how is your student life so far in Thailand? Yeah, I can say so far so good. <laughs> it's <laughs> so going so good. well, yeah, <laughs> and uh, it depends on how you uh, try to adapt into a new region as well. Maybe there might be some challenges in the early but right now, I think it is so good and going well. Yeah, I'm enjoying here as well, yeah. Okay, so I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah. Okay, so one more question. So what are the like, activities that you have to do so far in uh, for your faculty or in university? Yeah, so in my faculty as a first year student, we don't really have a lot of activity yet. Uh, basically, we are doing lab, lab as activity because uh, I think lab is important as a major or civil engineer because you need to uh, give a lot of time and come to class and study lab with your, t your leisure and learn about those things. And for the other activity, we are doing like a R RIC language center. So I participate at a mentor so that I can help, especially Burmese refugee and migrant student along a lot in Thailand so that they can improve their English language and that they will, be, they will understand like uh, basically like grammar, writing, reading and listening as well. So currently I'm doing this two activity. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so where are, in, where are your friends and also the, your teachers from, like from other country? So where are they from? Oh yeah, so let me first talk about the teacher. So mostly the teachers are from Thailand. So they are professionalized in civil engineer, and the, most of them are doctor. They already finished their PhD and the teaching here. And some are also from Russia, and from US, US, and Australia as well. So we study with diverse teacher. So that I think we all learn different culture from different country as well. For student, mostly from Myanmar, I can say that. But we, but I have a friend from Laos, Cambodia, Thailand, and Chinese, Chinese, and Bhutan as well. Yeah. So yeah, for classmates, we have a diverse group from different countries as well. Yeah, yeah mostly from Asia. Yeah, mostly from Asia. Yeah. Okay. 
So like, what are the career opportunities after your graduation? So when you graduate with uh, civil engineering, so what kind of uh, job opportunity will be you will have? And also, like, can you work in Thailand or something like that? Mm, yeah, to answer this question, I think uh, a little bit difficult, but I would say that as an engineer, I mean, everywhere in Thailand, after you finish and you graduate, you will need to take uh, a junior uh, license examination. So you need to take the exam before you can work as an engineer. You need a license. So every country is required that one extra. But in Thailand, uh, the problem is that after we finish here, probably we cannot work directly because their license will be uh, examined with Thai language. So at least we need to be able to speak Thai to, and to take the exam. So this is uh, one thing that I would like to suggest you guys to think about first before coming to any university in Thailand, uh, also in my CX work. But I mean, after you finish here, uh, I didn't mean that there is no opportunity for you to work because, uh, you know, excellent career pro uh, will include like uh, design, project management, and research and development engineer in different fields. It depends on how you practice right now, I think. Uh, how you work really well right now will impact your future. Okay, so to work with civil engineering in Thailand, like you must speak Thai to take the um, license exam or yeah. something like that. So it's a good opportunity like to learn Thai. So when you uh, can speak Thai, you have a lot of opportunities to work in Thailand. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so who are suitable to study civil engineering? So what kind of students should study the major? Oh, I think uh, anyone who is passionate in, um, I, I would say construction or so designs, and who anyone who is interested to create like a, you know, amazing idea or interesting idea, they can study engineering. And but I was I was suggest here if you want to study engineering, it is good to learn math, starting from now, and you know. Uh, also, physics. Physics is very important, especially in math, uh, in civil engineering. And you also need to uh, study. Uh, this is my tip. I think uh, you need, if possible, you try to learn different sort, whether related to engineering. Because in here, uh, as a engineer in undergraduate level, they might not teach you so well. They might not teach you the app that required for your future career. So it is better to to yourself, like uh, joining the organization that give you like ETAPs and AutoCAD. This is key that really require to go to internship. So if you don't know anything, maybe it will be a problem for of you. Course. So to be suitable and you know well prepared, start the key about what I'm saying here. Okay. So like before you study the major, like you have to. Uh, learn how to use the software software app like concerned with the civil engineering yes. and also like if you can learn mathematics okay yeah. it, it will be fine like it will be smooth uh, for your studies in university yeah sure. yeah we're prepared you know essential yeah. okay okay so one final question is what are your challenges to study in Thailand like yeah sure uh, so the first thing I would say that language barrier is the first challenge because uh, by the time you arrive here, at least you must speak Thai. Uh, at least, just a little bit, I mean, because when you talk to taxi, they will ask you, fine, eh, where are you going? And if you don't know how to say, oh, we're going to that place, you will be in trouble and you yeah, will yeah. lost. That's why I think that is the first challenge. And also, the, uh, how can I say, uh, essence is also a challenge too, but, you know, the more we practice with the teacher and we uh, have more with which other we develop that skill as well. Uh, and also in Thailand is, I can say, uh, you need to like be very, not very active, but trying to be active and try to at least learn their language so that your career opportunity and also as I say in, uh, at the moment, your career opportunity and your chance to work in Thailand will, will be good and you have great opportunity. That's why uh, that is the thing that I think I'm currently face, but I try to learn Thai a little bit. That's why I think I can manage that one. So for my suggestion is, um, you know, try to learn at least some mm -hmm. more and some 
like if part of the world like how to eat or go and you know that would be better and we help you a lot okay so business time language will be like a barrier for other students who just came to Thailand like yeah yeah it's good to learn Thai like before we started here and so that we can adapt uh, in new environment yeah, okay sure. so that's all for my interview and yeah. thank you so much for joining my interview you're welcome so, <laughs> okay thank you so much guys for watching my video till the end don't forget to like and subscribe my channel see you in next video bye bye